Welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today with the Use Power Mini battery, which looks really, really awesome. And besides looking awesome, it did not let me down because we have a toaster right over here with 800 watts of power. And although it has a maximum output of 300 watts, it does work and at this moment it's now besides the toaster we also have a laptop and a mobile phone just because this battery right over here unlike other batteries bigger capacity that we have seen here on the channel this one is targeted at light usage so maximum output of 300 watts although as we will see it will be able to output a little bit more but this is the target of this battery and i will leave right over here just the times that i could charge my laptop my phone and some other devices that i will think about them so that you have an idea of the amount of power that we have which is 388 watts hour which is quite a lot for this kind of devices and the ideal to take around on a camping trip or something like that and have power for our essential devices so it's not targeted at devices such as this one although it did work as we will see right now Here we are on the test bench with the use power battery as we can see quite small and what we have here on the interface basically is the wattage output and also the battery percentage now on this side we have the dc input for charging 12 volts up to 30 volts which will take roughly more or less seven to eight hours to fully charge from zero percent to 100 percent now i did not connect to solar panel because i do not have this uh, DC in output. I do use the other proper connector for solar panels So that's the only reason that I didn't test it out, but like this works really well as expected We also have the LED right over here, which has three modes level one level two Let me put a finger right over here So you don't get blind and as we can see 999 hours, but if we remove the power it will adjust to the remaining battery that we have so 3 watts uh, we are spending right now and it will last up to 47.2 hours if we still use the battery as it is. We also have the SOS mode right over here so this might be useful in camping situations where there is a situation of danger and so on and so forth. Now we have 5 amps to outputs right over here DC and we also have a car plug with a 12 volt 10 amp which will go up to a maximum of 120 watts which is more than enough to power any device that we use with a car plug and on the usb side let's put this on with the usb side we have the usb type c up to 60 watts which we will test in just a few moments and then we have three usb type a one with quick charging all of them will go to 5 volt 2.4 amps which means that we will have a maximum of 12 to 14 watts of power rights over here and if we press any button we will have the display turn on again and right over here we have the ac output and when we turn it on by default we can hear that the fan will ramp up and then depending on the the temperature of the battery it will remain on or not it's quite warm but let's see if it will go down or if it will take a little bit longer because it is just trying to detect if it's getting power output or not. But let's connect the MacBook Pro right over here so that we can see how much it will use. And let's connect the Mac safe. And at this moment we heard, uh, we heard the noise from the MacBook and here we are seeing that the fans are ramping up a bit because I've been testing the battery so it's quite warm. Here on the room it's about 28 degrees. We are with 104 watts and it will last up to 1.4 hours having in mind that we have 47% battery lasting and we are spending 100 watts of power so from the maximum of 300 we are using 100 watts i can just turn it off like this i can unplug it from right over here and this usb type c cable is connected to the same macbook pro but on the other thunderbolt 4 connection so let's put it right over here and the usb type c will automatically detect and turn on and at this moment we have uh, we are using 60 watts which is the maximum output right over there because the laptop is using the Cinebench benchmark so we are charging the battery and besides that we are using the enough energy to do this benchmark so 60 watts of power 
as expected right over here. Now I can connect my uh, iPhone 12 mini right over here so that we can charge it. In this case, it's not automatic. We will have to turn on the USB output and as we can see, it's charging. We will have up to 12 to 14 watts of power. I've seen eight, nine on these two ports and about 10 on this port right over here. But this will depend on the phone or tablet that we are charging. At this moment, we are charging with 9, 10 watts of power. Let's take a look at something a little bit more interesting of these tests. Let's disconnect all of these and let's connect the toaster that I've got at the back. Now, the toaster has a maximum power of 800 watts and this use power battery has a maximum output of 300 watts so it should not work but the interesting thing is that as we can see it does work and at this moment it's outputting 280 watts of power and this only has one explanation we have seen this in the past not with batteries but with our solar energy system that uses the energy that is not being used and it's being wasted to warm up our water for free so we have a resistance of let's say 3000 watts and we have 1000 watts of surplus energy so it will inject those 1000 watts to warm up the water and in this particular case what it's doing is sending 280 watts and it's doing its thing it's warming up not as much as 800 watts but it's warming up so this is a cool situation that i did find out it is actually the first time that this happens with a battery usually devices either work or don't work but in this particular case it's simple to explain because it has a resistance right over there now really interesting as well is that if i power on my laptop right over here what happens is that it will go up to 300 and 50 at this moment 340 and it will take a while and on my tests what happened about I don't know five minutes more or less it did disconnect one of the devices in this particular case the um, toaster but it was not immediately so it is capable of handling really fine even a little bit above the 300 watts and in this particular case 50 watts above which is not bad at all so if we disconnect this one right over here we will be fine for a long time until the battery depletes but if we are above the 300 watts then eventually the battery will turn off one of each to protect itself but nonetheless this test was really really interesting to see on the toaster right over there so instead of doing a toaster in five minutes maybe we will do in 10 minutes but it is warming up quite warm and it was really nice to see this test let's turn off by pressing the ac toaster ready and the use power also made through all these tests actually more than i was expecting so as you could see by the test it did send power through to the toaster although it is 800 watts and this only worked because it has a resistance as i explained and it is easy to understand and something that we do with the solar panels and the water heating system that we have for power management so if we are producing 3000 watts on the solar panels and we are only spending 1000 watts here on the house then there is a surplus of 2000 watts which the system will send to warm up water in this particular case it's almost the same situation Situation, but it's sending the available power to the toaster and then the device will accept or not in this particular case it did and almost every single device that has a resistance will do that so it was really interesting to see and also really interesting that it handled more than the 300 watts that it states we could reach about 350 watts more or less for quite a long period of time so some really interesting results for a small battery i will leave a link down below so that you can check out all the specifications and whatnot hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Roberto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next one